Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Galactic Science. <laughs> uh, you'll see a few things different. Um, I read on the forums, and according to the forums, the best way to get iron from cobble is the double compressed. So, rather than dump out this complete container and build them myself what I've done here is let's get some more fuel here two three what I've done here is made two more generators and we already had one generator these three generators are keeping up with this so it's it's crafting using a little bit of energy and but it, the uh, item duct back there is filling this up slow enough to where it doesn't matter. So I think I'm gonna keep all this the same right here and I'm gonna make another setup off camera with another transfer node outside somewhere and um, have it producing lava and also obsidian. Although I don't think I really need obsidian and I'll tell you why there's several different ways that we can get silicon dioxide now for those of you that don't know silicon dioxide is what gives you gravel okay you just put one of these right here and it gives you one gravel per silicon dioxide now you can uh, press R on these and it'll tell you that you can get it from sand there's 415 different ways to get this if you put gravel in here you can get 135 percent of the time uh, one piece of glass will give you 16 silicon uh, one pane will give you six I don't know the, the the change over for that sandstone all this kind of stuff um, this is the one we need to worry about here flint flint will give you 50 percent of the time silicon dioxide and we happen to have a crap ton of flint so what I was thinking was whenever we need silicon dioxide we can just throw some flint in here now that's not the only way to get flint uh, I mean uh, silicon dioxide we can actually take silicon that we get from uh, decomposing our uh, double compressed cobblestone and to oxygen and make our own silicon dioxide so like that and then whenever we want some more gravel we can just go bam <laughs> and then we can just sieve it um, I am also going to try to make an auto silver today. I don't know if I can do that. Um, I believe it's X A, and the recipe is just iron, glowstone, and an oak sieve. And we should be able to just pop this off right here, and then just add another one of our item ducts. there and then if we come over here my goal today is to get some automation going not necessarily do any quests I don't know if we get too many quests going today I do need some more iron though so we're going to um, first of all I'm going to put some of this stuff up you're a mob drop, so you need to go over here. I'm trying to keep all this organized, and I do need some of this stuff. Um, I'm going to put this gravel in here for now. Okay. So, just putting one of this in here gives us 12. That'll give us three more. I need four, though, so that's not going to be helpful, is it? Um, let's go ahead and break this down. That's factory blocks. There's some factory blocks in there. I'll go ahead and put them in there for now. That's cool. I'll tell you what. Let's use this. 
Might as well. We have a whole. We have it here. Let's get some out of this instead of using this one. Now, one thing I don't like is I wish I could just put this in here and break it down. It won't let you. See. So I wish I wish this would get added to the OR dictionary to where we could come in here and break it down. It would double it, well, more than double it, but I don't know. I mean, if we're going to use the chemical stuff, then might as well. Here we go. We put 16 of these in here. That'll give us some iron. And that's five. That's exactly what we need here. To break one down into nuggets. And then we'll get one piece of glowstone, which should be in here. There we go. And we can craft this up. There we go. And then we should be able to put this on here and it should fill it up too. And why is that not working? Hmm. Are we out of... We are. We are out. There we go. Grab some more power. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I got all this right here, guys. In a second. Because I want to show you because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to do it. So, I don't want you all to think I'm cheating or anything. Get this going here. Get that going there. Is that... Okay. Now this should be filling with power. Yes, there we go. And you, this will constantly be using and then uh, filling up with power. So this, I don't know if this will ever be full unless we can get these upgraded, which probably won't happen anytime soon. Um, what I want to do today also is uh, fix this. So we're going to make this uh, a whole lot better than just these two pumping out. <sighs> Hopefully. <laughs> so this gives us an auto silver. And, and it is, Apparently, it consumes 40 RF for a tick. So, <laughs> we do, however, need copper. We need copper, and this is one of the only ways to get copper uh, reliably. There's, there's a couple other ways, but uh, this one's the easiest. And uh, I can also put some rock in here, some moon rock in here. So, that's going to be pumping in here. As you can see, it's using more than it's it's using more than it's actually filling up. Where well, the line's going down instead of going up. So uh, I don't know if this is a good idea to do right now, uh, but that's how we're going to do that. So I'm going to put these back up for now. Um, what I want to do now is to make a capacitor for this. Now I've looked up the recipe, and it is going to require us to do some more. Uh, iron. So, we're going to pop this right in here. This should be four. And we need one of these. And now, we need Some gold nuggets. So I'm gonna just pop this like that. Move that over. I'm gonna split these two here. Get that there. And that gives us four of these. And now we put this in the middle. Put these four like that. Stop that. There we go. And this gives us a basic capacitor, and it has 1 million RF capacity. And now we're just going to pop this, and then we're. I hate it. Does that? I'm just going to put it in there. I'm tired of messing with it. And this will not fill up yet because it's sending it on through here, as you can see. What's wrong? See that fuel again? It is. As you can see. 
these guys are filling up again. It'll spread the energy amongst all of these guys right here. And uh, this guy should be almost full. This is full. So it'll fill all, all these guys. I'm going to keep fueling this. And I want to show you guys how I'm doing this, okay? I'm going to get this. Let's put it in half. Now, you can run these off of the gases like uh, I've been doing right here. Um, carbon is one of the ways you want to do this. And there's two ways to make uh Carbon. You can. Well, there's several different ways to make carbon. Uh, it'll give you carbon when you um, decompose the uh, double compressed cobble in there. It also give you hydrogen. So uh, eventually, we can auto feed this to here and then to all three of these generators, and it'll be a continuous cycle. But uh, we don't have enough power for that right now, so uh, that's not going to be an option right now. Uh, another option is you can take coal let me get a piece of charcoal coal or charcoal and you can just put it in here and it'll give you eight okay um, again you have to cook that up to get to eight now one one charcoal is one log okay so if we put one log in here we have a 50 percent chance let me show you this if we go this way here there's a 50 percent chance that we will get eight cellulose okay now if we use planks which is what we've been using as a fuel source anyway there's a 40 percent chance that you will get two okay so what I have been doing is I got some extra stuff in here so let's put this here I want to get a whole stack of planks I, so if you take in here and just put a stack of 64 planks in here it'll just break that down for you and then as you can see we got 32 and then you just break this 32 back down and it'll give you a whole crap load of carbon and hydrogen for you to use as fuel. <laughs> and that is the easiest way I can think of to get that. Now you can also get um, sucrose, I believe it is. Let me find it. Sucrose right here. You can get that from just breaking down sugar. And it come as you can see, it has uh, about twice as much as cellulose. Um, but that involves you growing a big sugarcane farm, which we don't have yet. So I just got this place where right here growing that. I hadn't really started the farm. I don't. I want to plant some stuff in here, but I'm thinking maybe I want to do some stuff outside too. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. Yeah, I just wait till it starts running out, guys. I don't even. I don't even bother doing anything until I start taking damage. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not the best way to do it. I got like tons of spiders outside that want to come in and eat my brains. So as you can see here, the the bad part is I gotta figure out something to do with this oxygen. So I gotta figure out a way for me to reliably get some more silicone. I just want the silicone so I don't really care about the silicone dioxide because I want to use this oxygen so I think the auto production let's put this in here for now I think the auto production of no, I don't, my mind then went blank. So what I'm thinking is I can take the gravel I get from this guy here. As you can see, he's already capped out. We can just look at the thing. This one's still running. This one's still filling up. Um, it's using because I'm running out of fuel here. 
is why it keeps running lower. But uh, it'll 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 gain. See there. Yeah. Yeah. And this won't stop filling this up until it's completely full, which is never ever going to happen. Um, what will happen is these things will fill up and then it will stop making this double compressed and just make the regular compressed and then it will fill up this whole entire thing with regular compressed and then when I take these out it will just make a bunch of them. So that's enough of that. Uh, we got the capacitor going. We got this auto stuff going on here. Um, this will fill back up and then we'll break down some of these double compressed. Uh, what else? I need to go outside because I have an axe I need to put in this thing. And uh, these spiders are going to be a pain in the butt. Come on. Come on. I always wondered where they got oxygen tanks from. I mean, who's giving the spiders oxygen tanks? I need a long range weapon. I just got the run for it. There we go. I think they've stopped. Yep, they stopped. There we go. But they're they're done for now. Um, I want to put one of these because I want some more string. So we're gonna get that corn right there. And I gotta put another axe in this thing right here. Come on, get off there. Um. I know I made it. There we go. And then I added some more fuel in here because it was burning my logs. Can't have that. I'll put that back in there. How many we got in here? Only 72, so let that run for a while. Got to gotta get that to keep running all the time. So that's that. What else did I want to do today? Um, I want to make this automatic, but I need 10 iron. I don't want to waste iron for that right now. So, uh, I think I'll just wait on that. It's only a little bit, and then I'll start using my hydrogen. I basically burn my hydrogen, my carbon first, and then my hydrogen, and then I worry about... Um, making more. <laughs> Take that out and put the hydrogen in there. The rest of the carbon in there. Now, this is the most efficient way because if I just use these planks to burn with, like all those planks out there, I really need to just bring them in here and turn them into, um, carbon in the decomposer right here and then use that outside and inside here um, because um, that's going to be the most efficient I mean I can get to see it gives me two of those so I get 12 carbon out of one plank and then since the carbon has 200 burn time just like the, the little pellets do um, and the plank gives you 300 I'm getting like four times as much so let's go do that I think that's going to be better off yeah it's going to be a better choice right now let's get all of this and we'll leave this just a little bit for it to run and I'm going to turn the rest of this just into uh, fuel I then made a double chest just so I'd have fuel 
and uh, I think that's what we need to do. And uh, I'll look into uh, automating the the influx of these. So I want to put like a chest up here and have it feed to all three of these. I think I need the item transfer stuff for that. Get that in there. Yeah, we're gonna have a load. This is gonna give us loads of uh, um, fuel. There we go. And then we can just break this down. Yeah, <laughs> we might run out of energy. <laughs> this is 500 per item, so. And I'm gonna pop some carbon into here because it burns longer. The hydrogen only burns 100 instead of 200, so it's better to use the carbon first. Get that out of there and get that in there. I'm take the oxygen and the hydrogen over to here, and I like how it automatically sorts for you. There we go. And uh, this one I think needs a little bit of loving. There we go. So that, that's what I'm doing. And then I just empty these out when they fill up. Like that. But no, get back here. But uh, again, I just I need to find something to use the oxygen for. So if you got any ideas, guys, let me know in the comments. I mean, I can, I can, I could probably just go ahead and start doing this. Let me get more gravel. I do have a little bit. I'm gonna stick this in here. Now the one in uh, Agrarian Skies too, uh, the, they reduced the power needed right here, so it's not this much. It uses like six RF per tick, something like that. So, wow, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I might need to upgrade these to the higher grade chest just so I can keep all this in here. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do for power, guys. We're going to use hydrogen and carbon. And I did look up a power producing method, but I can't get it to work on this planet. So we're going to have to wait until we actually get to Mars, I think. And uh, this more. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Look, this whole thing's almost filled up completely with hydrogen and oxygen. <laughs> then we'll let this fill right back up, and then we'll put uh, the double compressed in here and break it down. And we'll get some iron. I'm gonna take all of this off camera. I, I didn't want to do it on off camera. I wanted to tell you guys what I was doing. I'm gonna break all this down into its elements. So, um, like these two won't do anything, and the chloride won't do anything. I look at. I could make some salt out of that. Um, titanium. All the metals. I'm gonna go ahead and break down into the ingot forms. So, just to let you guys know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's get some more of this. Let's let's throw this in here. All this hydrogen and oxygen. And then I'll go ahead and fill up these generators again. There we go. They should be running a little low. Now, normal me, 
would just put a hopper on each one of these and a chest above them and just fill up the chest with with uh, carbon but uh <laughs> it's ridiculous oh goodness <laughs> okay guys so you get the general gist of this right uh, clearly using planks to get carbon the best way to go now sugar cane into sugar into it would probably be a little bit better but we won't worry about that right now also I can't upgrade these yet but when I am able to upgrade these I will I believe I need uh, the upgraded capacitor which is under right here in order to do that I need uh, an alloy smelter and the alloy smelter requires this which requires the uh, ingots which I can't get on this planet from what I'm told so I gotta wait till I get to Mars I believe or there might be a quest so if there's a quest that gives you some here yeah, let me know so I really would like to have an alloy smelter. Um, I'm gonna stick some of this carbon right in here for now. Here we go. Um, there will not be any more of me doing um, night day and night cycles. Um, I'm going to cut the video and then on the next day um, we will um, I'll just be going from step to step and if I need the only time there'll be a day and night cycle again after today is uh, after today's episode is if I need to like uh, farm a lot of ingredients or something then I might I might do stuff in between now and then. See now here we can't be having that. So uh okay. I wanna know if I put this here okay, it'll auto feed. So we're gonna put three stacks in here. And that should do that. And you in there. <laughs> it's still got huge as amount. So I'm gonna leave this in here. It'll it'll it's gonna fill back up. I'm gonna keep these full off camera. I did do uh, I did have some quests in here that I didn't complete. I did make the generators was a quest and uh, I had to actually craft it so that's another reason why I made it and I it did give me some more carbon here. Um, I don't run any carbon, so I'm going to pick one of these. Um, let's go with the last one. And uh, we're probably going to run this one on the carbon, too. So this will probably be the last time you see that. Throw some stuff. What are we doing here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll wait on that. See, don't, I can't run these while I'm running this. So these produce 20 each, and this uses 40. So I need two of these generators running this to keep it running at all times. So what I'm going to have to do is um, wait for this to fill up completely. Is that, uh, as far as I know, it's going to use more. This one and this one. I don't think can run off these three generators is what I'm saying not not as they are um, I don't know it doesn't really tell me how much it requires to craft so I might go on the wiki and look it up see how many more generators I might need to add to get these two running at the same time because I'd need this one and this one running at the same time for what I want to do and uh, all the other generators that I have access to uh, I don't think do more than these 20 RF per tick. Uh, so, I mean, I could try solar panels, but I don't think I can actually make those either.
Anyway, let's get these quests out of the way. Uh, so I got the vat, which I'll probably try to make next episode. We'll try to do a bunch of these uh, quests here. It gives me a liquid transfer node. We're making the vat and another world integration, so that'd be cool. Um, definitely going to make this trash can, and I'll start using it instead of deleting all my trash can because it gives you 400 RF per tick. So I might be able to just put this on top of that capacitor and start throwing stuff in there that I don't want, the crap stuff. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look that up too. I don't, I don't know much about that either. So next episode we'll do some of these. I do I'm supposed to make a solar panel too. Now I did look these up. Solar. And the solar panel 2 requires me to make the solar panel 1. But there's no recipe for the solar panel 1. And when I click on... See? So... Plus it requires blocks of dash. But anyway, it's, um, I guess I'm supposed to find the solar panel 1? I don't understand that one. So if you guys know what's what's up with that one, let me know in the comments below. Um, yes, I did this one. Got a full fuel can. I saved it in my inventory. No, I yeah, I did right there, right here. So I could show you guys. So uh, we're gonna get a reward bag and one die. I like green, so I'm gonna take green. Um, I'm gonna stick that in there. The energy pipes. I don't need that. I don't really need you right now. I'm gonna put the iron stuff in there. Um, there we go. I need to switch out these oxygen things. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. There we go. So that's that. Uh, I want to do this. I forgot about that, and I used my gold. Dang, come on. I use my gold for something else. Let's get this back. I need some iron too. You know what? I'll do it next episode. Uh, I'm going to make some of these ingots here. I want to make nine of them actually because you can use them for your furnaces. And this is what I want to use outside to produce the lava is the blocks of this. So um, it tells you that right here. And so it gives you like times eight smelting. So. I don't know. I want to try it out. I want to make some uh, transfer pipes. I want to make another cobblestone generator outside and feed that straight into some of these. If I, I can make more if I need to, and just have like some rows of these, and, and that'll give me lots of lava production. So, um, why do all the work? I don't think I have. Yes, I do, because I made this one. So it gives another bucket and a reward bag. More power. Nope. And quest books. I don't really need that, so I'm not going to take that. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to dump my stuff in one of these chests, and we're going to open all these reward bags. So, and then I'll straighten it all out off camera. Let's uh, make sure we keep these full. Carbon, carbon. Carbon. Grab another stack of carbon. There we go. And I, I promised I'd open these the last episode, and I didn't get to. So uh, we're going to go ahead and open all of these. Get another fuel container. Fuel container. Lava tank. Rocket fuel tank. Nice. Lava tank. These are the good bags. Got some glowstone torches. Nice. Territorial sign. No clue. And then our basic bags here. Another creeper. I don't know why I would need that. Another zombie. 
another zombie. And I do have those in here. And I did get a cow spawn from somewhere. Uh, those are supposed to be mop drops. Um, I think I'll just put these ones in here. Now, I'm going to keep these out. Supposedly, if we need copper, we can break these copper chests down in the decomposer. I don't know if I want to do that, but if I absolutely need copper and I can't get it, uh, we can do that. Also, just to show you guys, our little ender lily is growing pretty good. We do need to make some end stone, I believe, to make that grow faster. And if we look up end stone, we can see if there is a recipe in this one to get it in the old I don't want to put ender and there we go uh, we can actually synthesize that so we just need lithium we, if we, do we have lithium? checking this chest here no I don't have any lithium so we can do that. Now, in Ex Nilo, you could do the lava in a stone barrel with a piece of glowstone. And I believe that gives in stone. So uh, I don't know if that works here or not. It might be disabled. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and head out. As you, this is gaining power, so it should fill up pretty soon. Then we'll stick another stack of gravel in here. Uh, all the flint's going to be put in a decomposer for silicone and we're going to start making silicone dioxide out of that oxygen. That's going to be our best bet to use all the uh, wood planks that we're going to break down. So hydrogen carbon is going to be used in our generators. Oxygen is going to be made to make uh, gravel to feed this which is going to make more flint which we're going to feed in here to get more silicone which we're going to use to with the oxygen to get more gravel to put in here. <laughs> And that gave us a little bit extra resources here so we can get some other stuff here. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. And you can come check it out and see if you like it. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends. Tell me how much you liked it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Copy the link. Post it in your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips for Galactic Craft, let me know in the comments below. Uh, check the previous episodes before you leave comments. Uh had some tips already um, power production if you got a better starting method that I have access to than this let me know but I think this is gonna be our best bet for right now so this is what I'm gonna do unless I find um, a better method that's chlorine that's chlorine there's some more carbon there so guys I'll see you on the next episode